I see Levi. Yep. Okay, so so I'm gonna accept right now. And what's the following step? Uh, okay, cool. I'll hang up the phone with you, and I'll give you a call on the Skype. Okay, sounds good. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, thank you. Bye. Thank you. <sighs> MTV interview. It's that time, yeah. Uh. And Jimmy? Uh, not yet. Okay. You should pop up in a second. What do I gotta do? Uh, what kind of computer are you on? Uh, I'm on a Mac uh, Book Pro. Okay, uh, do you see the menu at the bottom? Like, uh, it should I be right below my face. Yeah, I see the the blue, the the microphone, the plus, and the red. And are you talking about that, or are you talking about to the left? Yeah. What about it? Um, uh, video should be on the very left. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, so I do that. Boom. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. You just got a new computer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna turn my video off. You've done this before, right? Uh, I have, sir. Okay. There, uh, our interviews are a lot shorter than they were last year. We cut a lot of the stuff out, so it's going to be quick, which is nice for both of us. Um, so just a lot of energy. Um, since right. it's so fast, you know, we're not going to we're not going to lose any of that. So okay, let's get started. All right. What do you, um, you want to know? What's that? I said, what do you want to know? Um, well, first, let's have you look into the camera and say your name, oh. age, and where you live. You got me. You got me right. Am I on? Yeah, you're actually perfect. Okay. How's it going, everybody? How's it going, MTV? Uh, this is uh, Travis Leviticus Millhouse here. Um, I am from Fullerton. I'm 24 years old, and I'm looking for that perfect match. <laughs> perfect, man. That is awesome. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, what are you doing for work right now? Uh, right now, I'm currently stationed in Irvine. I work security. Uh, you know, I get to ride around a patrol car. It's pretty smooth. I mean, it's a nice area. A lot of a lot of beautiful women. You know, I'm I'm on the prowl. <laughs> so okay. yeah, I'm just doing my thing out there. And on the side, you know, I do acting, I do modeling. Right now, I'm interested in the film production and and music as well. But film, I'm getting really more into and involved with. Okay, and why why did you apply to Are You the One? Well, I mean, I didn't necessarily apply. I mean, I was contacted on, on a model mayhem. I got hit up. And uh, I have heard about you guys' show, and, um, you know, it, it's definitely something that's definitely piqued my interest, because, like, I haven't had a girlfriend since since high school. And, um, you know, i just been kind of dating dating girls and, you know, meeting girls in the club that are, like, indecisive and, and girls at school that don't really know what they want. And, like, you know, I'm kind of hitting that stage, man, that mid-range. Like, I'm about to be 25 in another year, and, like, you know, I need that perfect match. I need somebody who can level with me and agree with me and, uh, you know, just, just really, like, come together with me, you know? I need uh, that affinity, reality, and communication. That's what I need. Okay, awesome. So, it sounds like you know what you want. Yeah, yeah, I know what I want. It's just, these women don't know what they want. Yep, true <laughs> that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, okay, you haven't dated since high school. How, why do you think that is? Um... <sighs> Well, I mean, it's not that I, I don't want to date. Well, let me let me uh, clear that up a little bit. Not date. Like, I haven't been in a relationship. I dated plenty of girls, but I haven't been in a relationship since high school. That's what I mean. And, uh... uh huh? Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I, uh, I meant why haven't you been in a relationship since high school? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm a good-looking guy. I don't think I'm, like, an ugly dude or anything. It's just... I don't know, man. I, I date these girls. Like we hook up. It just, it just doesn't like. It doesn't go anywhere, you know. And I just feel like a lot of women right now, they're they're really in that fast paced world, and they they're not really looking to slow down, you know. Unless, you know, they're forced to. You know, they they get pregnant or like something serious happens, and then they have to like hit reality, and they're like, okay, I can't mess around anymore. I need something serious. But other than that, girls are just playing games, being a uh, promiscuous and pretentious. And uh, this is full of shit, man. I mean, honestly. 
I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> um, can you tell me of like a uh, awkward date or a bad date that you've been on? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there was this, um, hold on, I lost you. Okay, and there was this one time where I like, like I was dating this one girl from like Lake Forest and uh, she was just like very like like non considerate and non appreciative. Like I drove like at least like twenty miles to see this girl, you know, and um I show up and like she's around like her little friends and she's like, you know, trying to play cool and like not really giving me like an authentic communication, you know, where we can like see eye to eye and like she's like turning around and like talking to her friends and I'm like you know, like, I just drove all the way down here, like, can we spend a little bit of time with each other, like, can you tell your friends, like, to leave, and, like, we would, like, go, to, we would go out to eat, and, like, she'd bring her friends along, like, it was, like, an awkward, like, third wheel, like, it was, huh. it was just a terrible date, like, I don't know, she would do weird stuff like that, and not only that, like, I dropped the girl off, then there's, like, another guy, like, waiting to pick her up. So I was just like, I'm like, wow, like, am I that kind of sucker? Like, uh, you just want me to take you out and buy you some food and then your sugar daddy picks you up? Like, like you know, like. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't get that. The running game on your boy, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> not cool. It, it's not, not cool, cool, man. Okay. Um, do you, what do you do on the weekends? Uh, I mean, I used to hit the club pretty heavy. But, like, right now I'm like. I'm kind of in that phase where I'm just a little bit more concerned about my life right now. Like, you know, I'm looking for that girl, but it, it's, like I said before when I was talking on the phone, like, it's not really, like, my priority right now. It's not like my world revolves around this, just looking for this girl, like, because I'm getting a little bit older now, and I'm just, I'm tired of, like, just wasting my time with girls, because, like, it's, it's time and it's an investment, and uh, my future lies ahead of me, and, like, I'm just putting things a little bit more in perspective. So, like... You know, I do film production, I do music. Actually, today I'm actually going to be going out to an event in Long Beach, a film, a film, work, a film networking event. So, um, yeah, I do stuff like that. I do, I rehearse, I go out to auditions. Like, you know, I'm just, just doing my thing, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What, uh, so you know, what kind of acting do you want to do? Uh, hmm. I would say... Like, like serious acting, like drama, a little bit of comedy. People tell me like I got that comedy role, kind of okay. kind of personality. But uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I'm not like completely sure. I just know that I want to test the waters and I want to move in that that part. Right. Okay. Um, who's like who do you look up to as like an acting role model? Uh, acting role model. Uh. Nobody specifically, but I mean Will Smith, he's pretty good. Yes, yeah, he's awesome, and I could see, I could see you doing that, like a uh, serious. Oh, like, I like Terrence like Howard too. too. Terrence Howard's really good. Who's that? Sorry. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Oh yeah, absolutely, definitely. Okay, um, so let's talk more, I guess, about girls. Um, so what what happened last year when you applied? Uh, last year, season two. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I, I auditioned, I applied, and if I didn't get back, if they didn't get back, like, you know, I did what yeah. I did. So, I got hit up again on Model Mayhem, and, you know, I still haven't found that perfect girl, a perfect match. I'm like, let's do it again, you know, what the hell, you know. Okay, good, keep on, uh, keep on going, you know. Yes, sir. Cool, um... So let's see, let me get back to my questions. Do you think you have maybe like a dating issue or something that holds you back from finding a good relationship? No, man, I don't really think there's like an issue with me. It's just like, like I said before, like I really feel like a lot of women, like they just don't really know what they want, you know, unless, like I said, you know, unless something serious happens where they're forced to like get out of their like their egotistical, like selfish ways, but like... I mean, I dated all kinds of girls, like, being truthfully honest with you, like, I dated girls in the club, girls at school, who got their, who are, like, focused and driven, passionate, like, it just, I dated girls all around in different areas, different type of personalities, and, like, it just all ends up the same, so, like, 
I dated good girls, bad girls, <laughs> geeky girls, like all kinds of girls, and it just it just doesn't work. So it's like I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. The, the, the struggle is real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you use like Tinder, uh, OkCupid, anything like that? Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, man, that's that's another thing that you know that makes dating difficult. You know, the Tinder, Facebook, uh, Instagram. I don't have an Instagram, honestly. I just have a Facebook. I don't use Tinder. I don't use Twitter. It's just not really my thing. But, like, I have some friends who use that stuff, and they say, like, they pick up chicks all the time. Like, it's just, like, that makes dating difficult, and that makes being able to trust people difficult. You know, all those different sites and, like, applications, like, uh, that, that definitely makes me, like, cautious around girls. Because, like, girls are just constantly on their phones, like, 24-7, and uh, that's just not really too cool with me nowadays. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not down with that, personally. Yep. No, I'm actually on the same page with you on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, it's it's frustrating. It is. Cause, yeah. Because at any point, some dude, like twenty guys, are just like. Because you, you don't know what they're doing. Different. You know, everyone's so concerned, like with their status, posting up their pics, and there's like, you know, hundreds of likes, and like, uh, yeah, that, that makes me a little little shaky with the, with the honeys, man. Definitely. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Um. Let's see. So. Last question: Why do we need to pick you for the show? Why me? Uh, I just feel like I would bring you guys uh, a different side, different personality. Um, I come, I'm somebody who's constantly like my heart's been broken, and um, I'm not. I'm not completely like gonna get my. I'm not completely gonna give into society. Like let myself get corrupted, but uh, I still feel like you know I have it in me to to be a good person to somebody. You know, I'm truthful, I'm honest, I'm respectful, I'm genuine, I'm sincere, uh, I'm somebody with, like, a lot of erudition, like, I'm a good listener, I'm ambitious, I'm focused, um, and I know I'm going to be somebody in life, and um, I just feel like I need to find that perfect match to, to really just elevate me and make me a better person, but um, I'm, not, I'm not a jerk, like, I don't cheat on girls, like, I'm not disrespectful. It's just like I just feel like I just feel like I'm being pushed a little bit too much to where girls are like taking me as a joke because like I'm a good dude and I'm truthful and uh, they just don't appreciate it and uh, it's kind of like really frustrating me but um you know like I said you know I, I don't really want to give into society and, and, be, and become corrupt like I, I think this might be like my last and final chance like if I were to do this show like. You know, to really pursue love. And, and I do, truthfully. So, uh, yeah. Right. It's awesome. You, you're amazing. Hold on. <laughs> to the camera. Hey, I'll date you. Let's do it right now. <laughs> right now, bro. Um, look into the camera one more time. Say your name, age, and where you live. Okay. How's it going, everybody? Uh, my name is uh, Travis Leviticus Millhouse. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Fullerton, California. And I'm looking for that perfect match. <laughs> man, that was good. I, I think you're awesome. So, you know what happens next. Um, we're going to take this video, edit it down to like a 30 second clip. Okay. Uh, we're going to show it to the network. All if right. If the network likes you, uh, then you move on to the next step. Awesome. Um, if they don't, unfortunately, you just don't hear anything again. You know. Okay, no good worries. Old, good old Hollywood. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I think that was awesome. I'll send it off, and hopefully, we, uh, you know, we'll talk to you soon. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good weekend. All right. You take care now.